<laughs> Happy Monday morning, y'all. Uh, this is the other Dixie. That was my mom's dog, Dixie. But anyway, um, I just wanted to tell y'all a couple of things before we get started with this week's video. First of all, I wanted to let y'all know we're going to go back to one video per week, uh, which is going to be on Wednesdays. And we're doing this because I'm not filming as much content now that I'm home. And I don't know if y'all remember, but when we first started, it was only one video per, per week. And then we upped it to two when I was filming like every day and, you know, getting much more content than I thought I would on the AT. But um, we're going to try to focus more on quality than quantity moving forward. And so um, try to film more of the things y'all want to see. Whitney's going to try some other things with editing, experiment a little bit. And uh, then whenever I hit the PCT again, um, or maybe, you know, even a, a longer stretch of trail, then we might up it to two videos per week. So, um, but also I wanted to tell you something about Whitney. So she is dabbling in half marathons now, and she's actually done, she did her third ever, if I understand correctly, this uh, month, earlier this month, down in Orlando. And um, she's challenged herself to do more this year. So I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit more about that and show you her awesome medal that she just got. So without further ado, Miss Whitney. Hey guys, how are y'all? Um, Jessica kind of passed this off to me because I think she wants me to be in more of the videos and I told her that she could tell y'all about my challenges that I have for myself this year. Her challenge last year was to complete the AT. And my challenge this year is to run six half marathons in one year. So a half marathon is 13.1 miles, if you're unsure of that, um, what it is. But I started out in college running half marathons with a friend. And I haven't done them in a while, so I have one from, the first one that I did was in Nashville. And that one was in 2009. And here's the medal for that one. So it was a rock and roll half marathon. And then the second one I did was to benefit the Seaside School System down near Destin, Florida. So this is the medal I got for that one. Um, and that was in 2010. So I took a little break. And then January 9th of this year, I ran the Disney World Half Marathon. I figured if I was gonna jump back into it, I would jump back in with, um, with Disney because it'll be fun and I can really push myself. So the goal is to do six half marathons this year. So y'all can keep me accountable. Give me encouragement. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'd be glad to hear them. So this is going to be another homesteading type video. And today we are going to learn how to make a very simple cider using store-bought apple juice. So it's very cheap to make, very easy to make. You don't have to worry about all the sanitizing stuff and whatever. So if you've been wanting to get into fermenting your own alcohol, then this is a very easy way to get started in it. So let's do it. So here we have three gallon jugs of apple juice, organic apple juice from Earth Fair. Um, so pretty nice glass jugs here that can be used later for making wine also. So anyway, what we're going to do, we've got three different strains of yeast and we're going to test out each of those with this apple juice as a base. So all we're putting in this is just sugar. So the yeast has some kind of nutrient to digest and basically poop out alcohol. And then, um, that's it. So the apple juice, sugar, and a packet of yeast. Three different types of yeast so we can see kind of how each different strain of yeast tastes or um, affects the percentage of alcohol. So these are the types of yeast we have here. This, this, and this. And so we're going to try each of them in one of their own jugs. And Brandon has written which yeast we're using and the date on it so we can remember when we did this. Now this one we've already poured a little bit out so that there is headspace for while it's fermenting and poured it into this glass and I'm about to check the um, specific gravity with hydrometer. So it looks like percentage alcohol by volume is 8. Alright, so here's the yeast getting ready. you got to rehydrate it in warm water. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of the headspace out of the other two bottles. Last thing about this apple juice is that it's been pasteurized and so you don't have to worry about um, like wonky yeast and you know natural yeast in your must and and if we were using actual fruit um, also you know the jugs were 
cleaned before the juice was put in there so we're all good and you know sanitized with um with all of that so and then also with these being um gallon increments you don't have five a like five gallon carboy full of wine that or cider that you don't even know if you're gonna like for sure or not so it's just gallon jugs kind of tasted it you know, taste test each of them with different yeasts and then um if you really like it you can always make something bigger in a five three to five gallon carboy so um, just kind of a good way to test something out before you make too much of it and decide that you hate it. So we're pouring a cup and a quarter of sugar. I don't really know how we came up with that number. We just heard a cup and then a cup and a half. So we're just going to go right in the middle and do a cup and a quarter. Okay, so we added the sugar and now we're shaking it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> and uh, that helps aerate it so that way you end up with a higher alcohol percentage. This is today's helper. His name is Sawyer. He's the supervisor so he doesn't have to actually do anything except hope that we spill some so he can lick it up. And pouring in the yeast. Get in there and party. Oh, look at it. You would use an airlock like this, uh, but unfortunately this does not fit in there. So um, in that instance, you can use a balloon, just a regular old party balloon. Um, we got a pack of them somewhere here for a dollar. So um, you just slide it on the top and it allows air to release, but none to go back in um, because you don't want anything wonky getting into your fermenting apple juice so it's a lot easier to escape so anyway we will check back after so long after we think the yeast is has done its thing and uh give you an update then so we are very brand new to this i've made wine like three years ago but don't remember a whole lot about how to do it um but anyway so how in the world do we know what strains of yeast to pick? That's a very good question. Google. Um, well, we found a chart that kind of compared the different yeasts. So the 71B-1122, um, it said for fruity wines from concentrate. And then the K1V-1116 uh, said fruit wines and low nutrient musts. And then the EC-1118 said for white and sparkling wines, but it also says ideal for quick <laughs> fermentation. So anyway, um, just figure that those would be three that uh, we could try and just see which gives the best flavor um, or how it varies with alcohol content. Um, so brand new at this. If any of y'all are more experienced and want to comment below and share something for newbies like me or other people watching this that are just starting out, then um, that would be great. But basically, if you're looking for a quick, easy way to start fermenting alcohol, this is square one because that's where I'm starting. So um, anyway, just go ahead and try it. Go out and get some uh, jugs of apple juice and start it up today. Ordered the yeast online, couldn't find any locally, but y'all may have brewing stores near you. Um, but here in Auburn, Alabama, we do not. But anyway, good luck. Let me know if any of y'all try and what results you get. And we'll follow up during the process of this stuff fermenting. One final note. Uh, it's a good idea to keep a log of what you do. Because you're like, oh, I'll remember. But you really might not remember every detail. So when you write it out, go ahead and keep a log of what you did. Or maybe what you saw happen. What was different. For example, one of the, the yeast didn't like bubble up as much when we rehydrated it. So... We um, took note of that, so you spoke well very well. Don't know if that really makes a difference or not, but hey, we've got it written down, so might notice some kind of consistency. But anyway, y'all go out, get some stuff, and go for it. Uh, you you must drink the apple juice that you created um, the Headspace room with. Yeah, you got it. You got to drink the extra. So I think it's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. Okay, I know I keep saying that it's going to be like my goodbye but uh this is less than eight hours later and uh 
look at these balloons already. I'm just so excited. But yeah, keep you posted. Bye for real this time. Okay, so I am here at Amicalola uh, State Park and I am about to hike the approach trail. Uh, just weighed my pack in and signed the registration.